Hey everyone, so uh, today I will be doing a review on the Ordinary uh, Primers. I purchased both the primers about a few months ago, actually it was um, this summer when I was in California and I have been using them quite a bit. So uh, yeah, let's get started. What is that my voice is a little bit different, that's because I am feeling a little bit under the weather and I'm really, really congested. So yeah, I just went to work and um, you know, I woke up with a little bit of like the cold and stuff and um, hopefully, you know, it gets a little better. The primers that I have are the High Adherence Silicone Primer and the High Spreadability Fluid Primer. So let's get started with the High Adherence Silicone Primer. <coughs> this is a High Adherence Blurring Surface Smoother and Primer and it says for the directions use as the last step in skincare regimen either on its own or as a makeup primer. So you can use it um, just by itself actually. On the website, it retails for $7.90 USD. Formula that uses advanced adaptive silicones to act as a matte hydrating blurring primer for makeup that looks higher in definition and adheres for longer. Because the formula can also be used alone as a non-greasy hydrator that reduces the look of pores and imperfections. So let's look at the claims. Uh, is it matte? I personally don't think it's matte. I have dry skin. It doesn't leave me feeling matte. Um, it's definitely not hydrating either. I do not see it as a hydrator. Um, non-greasy, I agree with that. It's very non-greasy. The I think it does help reducing the appearance the appearance of pores. Um, this is how it looks and it's 30 milliliters of product and it looks white. It almost looks like a cream, except it has a bit more texture. It definitely doesn't look very silicone-y, um, like my Misha one. It looks like silicone and it feels like silicone. This one doesn't feel like silicone. It kind of feels like a thick cream, um, but I do not find that it's hydrating, if that makes any sense. And it kind of does, um, blur like imperfections actually um but i mostly use it like on the nose um and on my cheeks and yeah this is how it looks it doesn't feel sticky it doesn't feel tacky it doesn't irritate my skin and i have very very sensitive dry skin i have rosacea um and it just feels very smooth so i do agree with the claim that it is a smoothing primer like it feels so smoothing um, and it feels a little bit silky but not greasy at all so I definitely recommend this primer I think it's a great primer for the price um, I do think um, it does blur a bit um, but it definitely does feel like it smooths out the skin and I do think that it helps with like minimizing the appearance of pores um, whether it's a high adherence like I don't notice that it makes the foundation last that much longer. Um, I haven't really paid attention to that. When I look for primers, I usually look for like hydration or for like minimizing pores. Um, usually, you know, foundation lasts like the average amount of time it does on my skin. Um, it doesn't really fade that easily because like I have dry, I have dry skin. So let's move on to the second primer. This is the Ordinary's High Spreadability Fluid Primer. <coughs> And it is a spreadability enhancing lightweight surface smoother and primer. And it's 30 milliliters. And the directions are to use it as the last step in skincare regimen as a makeup primer. So this is specifically a makeup primer, whereas the other one you can just use it, um, I think, just on your skincare. On the website, it retails for $12.90. It's more expensive than the other one. And um, the claims are that it is a lightweight serum-like formula that increases the spreadability of subsequent complexion makeup to help avoid the unnatural and uneven accumulation of pigments, especially around the eyes and on dry skin. The formula acts as a light, non-oily surface hydrator for a natural dewy look. So let's look at the claims. Is it a lightweight primer? For me, I have dry skin, so I do think it's somewhat lightweight not just very very lightweight you do feel like you have something there but it's like a good 
thing that you have there. Um, Serum-like, I do agree with it. I think it's kind of like a serum. It does have like the texture of a serum. That also says it increases the spreadability of um, makeup. That is true. I have used this primer um, alongside this one. So maybe I'll put this on the on the nose and this one everywhere else and it works perfectly fine. It works fine with all the foundations I have used with it. Also it works well mixing it with foundation. So I'll get a little like mixing tray and I'll put foundation, a liquid foundation and I'll put maybe a drop or two of this and I think that it like really really helps spread the foundation and it makes it just glide on very 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 nicely. So I do think it does what it says in that um, regard. It does help spread the um, foundation and makeup in general. It says it gives a dewy look. I guess, you know, like I think that it gives a dewy look as your last step like in your skincare line like before adding the makeup. So if you use this right before makeup, it will look a bit dewy. But for me personally, like I have very dry skin. So the dewiness does not necessarily last for a long time. Um, but it does like add a nice like glow to the skin. So this is what it looks like. It's very thick. I don't know if you can see it. Look, one, two, I don't like wasting this. It's so great. And then I'm just gonna rub it into the skin. And it feels like very silky, very smooth. Um, and yeah, on top of the other primer, it just feels like your skin is like baby soft, to be honest. Like both of them combined are great. It gives you like a smooth canvas. Um, the only regret I have with this product is that I didn't purchase another one. I'm like, oh, such a bummer, honestly. Like, uh, if I could, I would purchase like five of these. It should last me the whole year. But um, I mean, I go through it through it quite a bit. I've been using it probably for a month. I think if you have oily skin, you might not quite like it. Um, maybe you should give it a try, just adding a little bit at a time. But you can definitely use it to thin out a foundation or just to, you know, make a foundation more fluid. Overall, I totally recommend these two primers. I do think they're great. That's it for the review. Um, like I said, I recommend the products. Uh, you can find them on the website. I'll make sure to, I'll make sure to leave the link to the website in the description box. And uh, I hope this review was helpful. And if you have any questions or would like to see any other type of review, then yeah, just uh, please leave a comment um, down below. Uh, see you soon and uh, have a great day. Bye.